Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new video. So yesterday we got the release of the new GPU rendering plugin for Rune Light. This is an awesome day for old school RuneScape because finally you can run a RuneScape client off of your graphics card. For those who don't know, um, prior to this, uh, old school RuneScape ran off your processor off of like one core. Very inefficient. Um, you could see lag even on very high-end computers. So now that this can run off of your uh, GPU or your graphics card, people who actually have good graphics cards will be able to see a lot more of Gilanor at longer draw distances. So you will be able to see much further away and you should see a noticeable increase in your frames per second. I definitely have, so I don't actually have the plugin on yet. Um, so this is the default zoom length now. I think they changed it in the regular client because it doesn't seem to make a difference if I have the camera zoom plugin of RuneLight on or not. Okay, so I just moved my screen over for a second here as you can see my plugins tab. So what you're looking for here is GPU. I've uh, pinned it just so it went to the top, but if you scroll down uh, to here, GPU, I just pin it. And then you're going to want to turn it on. And now you will see some seriously increased draw distances. Now you can go into the settings here. I think the default is uh, 25 and you can bump it up up to 50, I believe. So let's see here. 31, 32, 33 keeps going. It goes past 50 to 60. So it caps out at 60, it seems. Uh, it doesn't matter if you put in 10,000. It still seems to have the same draw distance. So that's how you set it up. So we're going to go move our screen back over. It will not generate any more objects. So for example, NPCs or any other interactable uh, terrain you'll be able to see it but you won't be able to interact with it for example the spirit tree i can't actually click on it that being said having tested this a bit it does seem like you can click and walk to places where normally you would not be able to click there i will test that a little bit more later but you can see such a increase in the draw distance will turn off again and i killed a gnome uh, then we'll turn it back on so even though i am recording and having a much higher render distance i think my fps is actually higher than without the gpu renderer on eh, it's hard to say maybe there's a way to actually get an fps counter okay so let's go to some different locations here let's start off by going to karamja so with the increased draw distance we can actually see across the ocean so let's turn it on uh so what the hell is that uh it's remington i think i can see the house portal there uh there's some houses now you can't again you can't interact with anything but look how much farther you can see. You can see the entire banana plantation. It looks pretty cool. I have my interface set in this new mode so I could actually get more room in my screen. Banana, banana, bananas. Let's go check out the volcano. Even when you're not zoomed out very far, it's going to help so much too because it'll get rid of all that black space. Because right now, boom, you wouldn't be able to see anything there. It actually almost looks nicer when you're not fully zoomed out because it just feels more natural. It doesn't actually seem like there's the end of a world everywhere. If we run up here to the top of the volcano, we can see all of Brimhaven pretty well all the way around to the desert and look how much view we have from up here without the GPU renderer on ah can't see anything so sad boom on so it does seem to load in these giant chunks but the chunk size is about double what you could normally render I would be kind of fun to see if you can increase that even further now there were some people on reddit who actually added in like fog features and other uh, terrain effects and stuff like that and that's hopefully going to be added soon now, hopefully we don't have another OS HD incident where this gets taken down for being, I don't know, too cool. <laughs> All right, let's check out the Lunar Isles. Turn the GPU off while we teleport over here. Okay, so we got the most of the town. Not much of it rendered, but with the GPU renderer on. Oh my god, you can see the entire settlement here. All of the walls. If you run over this way, we can probably see the altar almost in view. There still seems to be a bit of a cutoff point where you have to actually enter the chunk. It's not constantly loading. Like we have to enter this one and then it's going to load the entirety of the next one. But still so much better than what we had before. Let's go check out Mauritania next. We'll hop to the portal and boom, we can see so much here all the way into the swamp. Okay, one place I'm kind of interested to go to is Fossil Island. And now the reason for that is um, Fossil Island is one of those places that actually probably has the most terrain effects. I've seen the most lag there overall. And we can see so much of the surrounding area. We can see the two giant trees over here. I forget what they actually are. But we'll go through the Magic Mush Tree. Now the leggiest place in the entire game I'm going to have to imagine is the Mushroom Meadow. So hopefully I don't crash out of here. Okay. So yeah, I'm definitely seeing quite a bit of lag here. Ooh, I can actually hear my graphics card boot up. So yeah, there's quite a lot of effects here. It doesn't help that I'm recording, but actually this area is actually quite laggy. If we zoom in, it's fine, but ooh, I don't know what it is with these mushrooms. Oh my god. Okay. With it off, we don't lag as much, but it's still not perfect. Okay, let's head over to the swamp. This could actually be 
somewhat useful for the swamp because you can see so much further. And I'm kind of convinced you can click further than you normally could because normally you can't click in the blackness. So now let's go have a look at a dungeon here. So without the GPU renderer on, we cannot see too much here. With it on, we can see all of the pathways. So let's test this out. So let's turn it off for a second. Now, if we click over here on the blackness, it doesn't do anything. Uh, if we turn it on and we click over there, we do start running. So that is kind of interesting. I know OS Buddy had to actually remove that from their feature because people are using it at ZMI to click only once. I'm not sure if that is intentional or not, but that might have to be removed because actually let me click further. Okay, and one last thing that has to be done is taking a carpet ride in Alcarid. Oh my god, look how far we can see the Shanty Pass away. Boom, all the way over there, we can see right into the desert. So let's run over here, we'll buy a pass quickly from Shanty. Okay, and let's travel with the Rug Merchant. Let's go to, uh, we'll go to Polovanich. Okay, so let's have a look here. That's with it off, and boom on. Eh, it's not as much of a difference as I thought it would be. Once we get to the other chunk though, perhaps. Yeah, look at that. Boom, you can see that so far in the distance. Off, on. Oh, that looks nice. You can see the terrain going up and down. Uh, the cactuses and whatnot. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, an awesome new plugin from Runelight. Definitely go get it if you don't already have it. There's almost no reason for someone not to use it. There's very few circumstances where you'd prefer to run runescape off of your cpu even if you don't really want the longer draw distances getting the plugin is still going to be worth it and that's about it guys i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time